Now, let me discuss about the pharmacodynamics. Right, let me discuss about the pharmacodynamics. Now, if you see this particular pharmacodynamics, remember what does this tells you is, remember this is the study dealing with the effect of the drugs on the body, right? It is the study dealing with effect of the drugs on the body of the individual. All right. Now, what was pharmacokinetics? It was exactly opposite, right? Pharmacokinetics was the effect of body on the drugs that was pharmacokinetics whereas pharmacodynamics this is the study dealing with the effect of the drugs on the body now what all it includes remember this pharmacodynamics it includes the actions of the drug right it includes the actions of the drug as well as the mechanisms of the drug Right, as well as the mechanisms of the drug. Now, you take the mechanism, right? You take the mechanism. The drugs may act by various mechanisms, right? If you see the drugs, they may act by various mechanisms. These mechanisms they include physical mechanism, chemical mechanism, stimulation or inhibition of the enzymes. Okay, so the mechanisms they include. physical mechanism they include right they include the chemical mechanism stimulation right stimulation or inhibition of enzymes right stimulation or the inhibition of the enzymes and lastly via the receptors right lastly via the receptors so these are the various mechanisms by which the drugs will be acting on the body now you take the physical mechanism the examples like you take the osmotic diuretics right osmotic diuretics they may mainly include the mannitol right they are mainly used for reducing the intracranial pressure right they act by the physical mechanism now you take the chemical mechanism right for example you take antacids okay antacids are the drugs which are used in the treatment of the peptic ulcers okay like your sodium bicarbonate or you take your calcium carbonate they are the antacids which are used in the peptic ulcers they act by the chemical mechanism now the third mechanism is the drugs they act by either stimulation or the inhibition of the enzymes and this particular stimulation or the inhibition of the enzymes is either it might be a competitive inhibition right it might be a competitive inhibition or it might be a non-competitive inhibition right or it might be a non-competitive inhibition all right or the drug may act via the receptors now let me talk about the enzyme inhibition right if you take the enzyme inhibition the drugs they may act by inhibiting the enzymes either competitively or non-competitively so first let me talk about the competitive inhibition and later on let me discuss about the non-competitive inhibition